back in the building, baby. Rick Mo 64 in the building, be my man man Q Ball. And we got a special guest. But Q Ball, how how serious? Did Mariah Carey do it again or this? The video? Wow. Hey, look, when he man, I try to tell you, dog. When I, I text you, I text you the other day, man. Hit you, I said, look, check out Mariah Carey new video. Touch my body. It's ridiculous. And people, people be hating, talking about Mariah do the same thing. Look at, ooh, we look at me, Mariah video. But if you can do that, don't go outside the box if you don't have to. Go ahead and get your money, baby, and that's your look. Don't try to change it up, Mariah. Just keep it classy. Keep, keep it plain. But anyway, we got a superstar in the building with us in the barbershop. Q-Ball, I'm going to let you go ahead and introduce, you know what I'm saying, introduce him and everything. Yo, yo, this great nigga. How y'all doing out here? It's every big 750 going on this morning. I'm kind of a little, you know, after last night, I had to do a little show with the boys. <laughs> That's what's up. What was you last night? Oh, uh, last night I was at the uh, TJ's over there uh, in, uh, off of uh, Capitol on Lee Street back there with Smitty's Production. Okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. So what brought you to the Triangle, man? What, what, what you doing? What you got going on here? Uh, on uh, from now on, from oh, this point on. From this point on, uh, well, uh, Q knows what's going on mainly. I, I'm, I'm, I'm on my side of the house talking about promoting my show this Friday night coming up. That's what's at up. Andrew, uh, Andrew's, Andrew's Lounge down here, down Aries, Aries Lounge, yeah. That's what's up. Oh, you have some things for Aries Lounge? Yeah, I want people to come on out and support that. Uh, this is my first time out here doing it. He, uh, the guy, I haven't met him yet, but I'm coming in town to do that. And uh, a lot of other stuff going on, like uh, the TV show, but. I, we got somebody else promoting the TV show, along with Q. You know, he he, he <laughs> professes to be an actor. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, as long as you write something down, Q. There's one thing about him, he can read. That's about the only good thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, yeah, man. He, he can't follow directions, but he can read. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. But look, though, I remember I remember staying up late nights growing up, man, watching you and everything, man. And you was hilarious, man. I mean, just like when what do, what's the when fans come up to you, they still put you in kind of like give you the chills. Like when fans say, "Oh man," like remember sight different act, different parts from your act. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to give back. That's one thing. I mean, everybody that ever comes up to me, I thank them because if it wasn't for the fans, we'd be nothing. And a lot of us are forgetting that. But I don't. You know, you got to give back. And I'm tell you, I did it. I quit for a while and I came back and it makes me feel good. You know, you still got people, especially late night. You know, I'm yeah. old school. It's a movie I did back in 1965 with Lee J. Cobb, Roscoe Lee Brown, Yepete Koto called, uh, oh, what was the name of it? That, that, that old, I'm telling you. I'm telling how old I am. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm only three years, four years older than Q. Q just, <laughs> Q just does a lot of black plastic surgery. That's what it is. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> But man, we definitely gonna go ahead and get some tickets away. And uh, we got some CD. We got some CD, DVD, DVDs, DVDs in my hand. You know what I mean? I know. Look, so let's go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get. Go ahead and pose the people a question, Grave. So you know what I'm saying? We can go ahead and call in and win this DVD. Sign. You gonna sign it for him? I sign it for him. I didn't sign it. For him. Okay, let's do it like that. You gonna oh. let you gonna, let's let Gray go ahead and pose a question then to the people. Go ahead and pose a question. Oh, pose a question. Let's see. Whoa, honey, hey, he hit me with you. Don't hit no brother this early in the morning. <laughs> Wrong with you. Saturday morning. Oh, no, <laughs> hey, wait, wait a minute. You know what kind of questions I come up with after a Friday night? Well, who did I slept with? <laughs> no, I said it out loud. <laughs> All right, if I slept with you last night, <laughs> you get a free DVD and a check. Uh, and this, this, is, this is a family right here in the show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I said slept. I, you know, I was okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, uh, it's I, out the chain. It's out the chain. I tell you what, if the first person can call in and tell me, this man, man, we just fresh out of Black History Month. You call in and tell me who the first black four star general in the military, you go get a free DVD. Wow. And two tickets. And, and two, two tickets. tickets. <laughs> Good, Good. 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 Wow, this is a great yeah, question. I'm going to make you think. Yeah, yeah, that's what's we, up. we like the little easy question. No, the first black four-star general in any branch. The mm. first black, you call in and tell us, and, and you get these tickets. Yeah. Wow, this is a great one. Yeah. That's a great one. Well, let's jump on back into this. Is there any, is there any comedians like who you looked up to, you know what I'm saying, like in the game and stuff? Uh, who are some of your favorites? My favorite, uh, the, the one I idol his dead now, his name is Robin Harris. And while I'm on here right now, I want to say, you know, uh, rest in peace to a good friend of ours that passed away last year, uh, last summer, Birdman, comedian Birdman. Okay. And we're doing a special thing for him March 29th in Charlotte. 
Uh, other people I looked up to was like Red Fox. Uh, That's my man uh, right there. Believe it or not, Jonathan Winters. Okay. I mean, you got to look at the talent. It, uh, uh, comedy has no color. We talk about everybody. We talk about cripples. We don't care. But <laughs> who, who I looked up to was like, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, uh, Red Fox uh, and uh, Richard. Everybody looked up to Richard Pryor. He was the best. Yeah. He, he was it. There's no, you know. And some of the young guys that, that I look up to right now that I look up to is like uh, Bro Man and... Uh, and uh, from the fifth Yeah, coast. and, and D.L. Yeah. D.L. Yeah. Hughley, who was in town uh, this, tonight and last okay. night. Yeah, D.L. here. And if you listen to the radio, yo, D.L., what's up? This great, man. You know, get up. You know, <laughs> put that cigar. <laughs> but, <laughs> so look, Gray, this is what I want to ask you, man. Like, what's, how hard... And I, I look, Red Fox is like my favorite, you know what I mean? Because I think if you can go from doing just raw, raunchy comedy and then you can go and do... A sitcom where you don't even curse not one time. Like, how hard is that? I mean, people don't uh, don't understand. Sanford and Son, Red Fox used to be had a dirtiest, a dirtiest mouth. You know what I'm saying back in the day. And then he went and did Sanford and Son and kept it going so long without cursing. Like, was that hard? Is that hard to do as a comedian? Yeah, sometimes it is. It's sometimes, but you got to be versatile. That takes talent. And I'm not bragging, but I got talent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, really, if you know how what you're doing, and if you come with what you're doing, I've went in one day from church, from doing a show in a church's pulpit to doing a raunchy show that night. <laughs> <laughs> and basically using the same comedy because, you know, Christians like to cuss every night and day, but they don't do it in church. <laughs> and, you know, I, it, it is kind of hard to do. Sometimes you slip up. I slipped up when I first started out doing it. But now you just got to know what audience you got to go in there and say, okay, you, you just got to know what people want to listen to. And you got to know how to, you know, change up your show. Exactly. So it, it, it is kind of hard. But Red Fox was, you know, you, you, comedy is not taught. I don't care how many schools you go to. Don't pay nobody. If you wasn't born funny, you ain't funny. Gotcha. It's just exactly. that simple. Nobody can teach you to be funny. And Q will know. I've been trying to teach Q to be funny. <laughs> but Q, good radio host. I mean, I've never well, seen him. He's funny I'm, looking, though. Right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, you know every, every company has to have one. And Q is ours. So, you know, that's why we got two handicap park spots for Q. But, uh, he can back in one and pull another. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to leave you. I love him to death, man. I love him like a play cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he killing Q-Ball this morning. Yeah, that's my boy. Q-Ball, you got a lot to say. <laughs> well, he does. He got a lot to say before he gets here. He talks in the car all the time. But, and he texts you to death. I ain't like that's, and everybody listening to that, do not text me, please. I hate texting. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I quit school in 11th grade. I don't know how to, you know. That's why I became a comedian, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to read nothing, you know <laughs> You just walk up and start talking. <laughs> that's what's up, man. Uh, we got a host here, matter of fact. He not with us today. But Flick Brown, the comedian thug, man. I know he hate he done missed oh, this man, one, man. He, oh, man, he's a very, very talented brother, man. <laughs> See him here on this flyer, but uh, I'm definitely gonna we definitely gonna link y'all up, man, and uh, and everything. But I definitely gonna see you at the Aries Lounge, man, Friday, man. Y'all got to go get these tickets, man. You gotta go get the tickets. Tell them one more time, Q Ball. <clears throat> Hold on, hold on. We ain't finished. What's up with the DVD? What they gonna find on the DVD when they win it, Gray? Well, I tell you what, the DVD is gonna show you, give you about 23, 30 minutes of uh, some of my good stuff. I uh, won't give you a whole show, uh, and that's why I'm giving them work. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you you'll be able to see. Now, the way to get in contact with Gray is uh, matter of fact, I have 